Well, Dan, the city has no idea where this new cross came from, and the fact that a permit was not acquired for it is adding another issue to an already hot topic. This is uh, deja vu all over again from 2009. The assistant city manager for Monterey is referring to the controversial debate over the presence of a religious symbol on public property, stirred up again by a cross that showed up on Del Monte Beach over Easter weekend. We were surprised. Uh, this cross was erected uh, on city property and we had not known about it, neither was a permit requested for that. So we learned out of it out of the media and uh, we still don't know who put the cross up. The metal cross replaced a redwood one that was a replica of a cross left behind by Spanish explorers 200 years before. The monument was chopped down in 2009 by vandals and this prompted the city council to decide whether they wanted to replace it. They chose to relocate it to a Catholic cemetery. Now they must make a decision about this cross and Michelle Welsh says this time is different. The fact that a private person put it there means that it also violates the city code because individuals, private people, aren't entitled to put a stationary object up on government property. Walsh represented the ACLU in 2009 when the organization threatened a lawsuit against the city. So far, the ACLU has not become involved, but Welsh says if the city leaves the cross alone, it violates the separation of church and state. Well, from a constitutional law perspective, I would expect that the city will take appropriate action and soon because the law is very clear. And over the weekend, we heard from a lot of people who were excited to see a cross back at the beach. But the city manager says that uh, they would consider opening up this issue for discussion by city council and the public, as they did in 2009. But before they do that, they're going to go back and review all of the original arguments from the meeting in 2009. Dan. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Bianca. City leaders will start trying to decide tomorrow just how to move forward.